Hey guys, it's Angie. Continuing what remains of Edith Finch. Last time we discovered what happened with the eldest brother, with uh, Louis, who I guess died in a cannery accident. No, not here! God damn it! No, 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 no! Get back! It's the door! Oh, I wanted to go here. Anyway, I feel like Louis was lost and people didn't know how to help him. And that his therapist failed him and that uh, his mom, by giving him... On the way back from Louis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. Oh. Um, like, I feel that his mom the one she, <laughs> Edith was just talking about um, because Louis was closed within himself and she wanted him to let's say go outside a bit both physically and mentally um, so she got him a job at the cannery and I feel like this was the worst thing that had, could have happened to him she waited until the day before we left to tell Edie I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Hmm. I wish we'd stayed. Oh, so many. But I understand why we left. But do you, th do you think that Edie wouldn't notice? Teach and to learn. Seven ways to create a fulfilling classroom. Dawn Finch. Ah. Disaster relief, Sanjay Kumar. Oh God, you you have called your servants to win. Eh. Okay. <laughs> My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Why? What? What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Is this our room? At the very top? Holy shit. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Okay, I have to admit, this is a lovely, lovely place. But you have a lot of generic books that don't look like books. <laughs> huh. And a lot of origami? You were a writer of the family? That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Ooh, okay. Um, also, leaving candles just like that lying around is very dangerous, you know. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. <laughs> or that Edie had a key to it. <laughs> and and left it open for me. Uh, 
Okay, this is a big place. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. <sighs> we'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Oh. History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. Oh. That night, the tide went way, way out. Oh shit, that's so creepy. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. Uh -huh, I can imagine. No, I've seen that house every day of my life. Uh huh. But I never thought I'd go back to it. Okay, okay. Is this supposed when to... When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh no! What? I got turned around. Oh no. Why? Uh, where? What? I'm so confused. Turned around, so I need to go back there, right? Away from the. From the stone. I started seeing things. Uh huh. And you saw what? Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Uh huh. Like an old bed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night. A lot of things came back to me. Uh-huh. Oh, this, th these are things from the old house? Or maybe I came back to them. Is this supposed to be like sim sim symbolism for the trip that Edie is doing right now? How is it still working? If it was... Things I what? can't explain. But that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! No, me. I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw great-grandma Edie again. Bye. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Yeah, thought so. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. Oh, I can, I can control it. <laughs> a few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. Oh no. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. 
But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Oh, don't tell me I'm the kid now. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Why though? You were curious. I just want to meet you. You were curious of the of the story of your family, and you want to deny that I to tell your you child. I these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Okay, that's weird. I'm wondering if, if I'll have to censor that. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh. Okay. Confusion starts now. I mean, I was confused throughout all of this game, but... Uh, is this the same house? It looks much better, to be honest. It looked renovated. For Shir Shirley Dallas. Oh. <laughs> oh, mom, probably. That's adorable. I love it. <laughs> Lee Dardis. You can see that he's been already har working hard. <laughs> Yeah, it, I would say that it was a very unhappy family in that regard. They were situations that made them very, very unlucky. But I feel like they focused on all the bad stuff and they dwelled in history instead of trying to look forward. Especially, I feel like the mom did that. Like, in my opinion, she should have asked e Edie to write down all of these stories, but agree with her to repurpose the rooms, to let the dead, let, let's say, move on. The living move on and the dead not be forgotten because they would be kept in those stories, but let them go. Like, because in my opinion, leaving those rooms intact was horrible. I, I could never imagine something like that. First thing, it's my very practical brain is going, that's a waste of space. But then, exactly, I'm thinking that this would be also very painful for the family because it's such a reminder of the of the people that were lost. And instead of having like, fond memories of them it's a painful reminder of what what wasn't it there I don't know I'm just I think they should have repurposed the whole the whole building because to be honest I I personally experienced the loss and it's not like we left the the apartment apartments and uh, the rooms as they were to remember people because we have memories of them we have pictures we have their journals but you know life is for the living you need to live you cannot just stay in the past forever ah okay but maybe maybe that's that's all I, I wanted to say. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm glad that I played this game. It, it was a very interesting story and it reminded me a bit of uh, Gone Home. And 
Yeah. I'm I'm I wanted to thank everyone who recommended this game to me. And again, I wanted to thank you for being here, for uh, going through this with me. But right now, thank you so much, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.